Oh, it's Petra Predictions here. Group A, wow, this is definitely one of the most difficult groups in this year's AFCON, if not the most difficult, maybe the group of death as well. And for my predictions, I have Cote d'Ivoire top in the group in first, Nigeria coming in second, Equatorial Guinea in third, and Guinea-Bissau in fourth. The reason I have Cote d'Ivoire over Nigeria for that top spot is because one, Cote d'Ivoire is the host nations. I feel like that home advantage will be good for them. And at this minute, in my opinion, I believe Cote d'Ivoire has a more balanced midfield than Nigeria at the moment. If you look at Nigeria's midfield throughout the various friendlies they've had and even in the AFCON qualifiers, there's, there's been a lot of variation. They've changed up the midfield a lot and it's very clear they don't have a mainstay midfield. The only genuine defensive midfielder box or box-to-box -box midfielder who plays consistently for their club is Ndidi and he performs at international level. The problem is you have a youngster like Onyadika which is great and he's doing well for his club. It's just he's still too young and not proven an international stage yet. And you can't expect someone that young to run the midfield. And Onyeka doesn't play much for Brentford. Atebo doesn't even have a club right now. And you can just see the various other players I ever mentioned. It's just not clear. However, though, Nigeria's attack will carry them through this tournament. And oh my goodness, Nigeria's attack is by far the best in Africa in depth as well. The number of attackers they have is incredible. Group B, man, this AFCON is looking lit for my predictions. I see Ghana top in the group in first, Egypt coming in second, Cabo Verde in third, and Mozambique in fourth. The reason I have Ghana over Egypt is because I feel like Egypt are more likely to drop points against Cabo Verde than Ghana. And Cabo Verde have really proven to be difficult for the bigger African nations at times and I feel like Ghana has more squad depth in all areas of the field than Egypt do and as we know in a compact international tournament like this squad rotation is important and necessary. Group C I'm gonna dub this group as the group of death this AFCON it's definitely the most difficult group along with group A still not sure which one's more difficult and what will be very interesting is Cameroon a lot of the key players have past their peak to be honest they're aging now so it'll be interesting to see what the manager does in terms of which new players will he add to this tournament etc but my overall standing for this group i see senegal top in the group in first cameroon in second gambia in third and guinea in four group d this looks like the most predictable group in this year's afcon not much to say really but i do see algeria top in the group in first burkina faso coming in second angola in third and Mauritania in four. Group E, I think this group is going to get overlooked by spectators, but deep down, I think this is going to be one of the most interesting group this year's AFCONs. I see it being really close, maybe a point or goal difference between the whole group standard. And yes, there will be a lot of draws in this group. I see Mali top in the group in first, South Africa in second, Tunisia in third, and Namibia in fourth. I say this because I think Mali has the best attack, in this group but if you look at South Africa they have only lost one game in the past 19 fixtures that is incredible stuff for South African football yes their opponents haven't been as strong but still that is incredible for them and for Tunisia yes they're the strongest team overall on paper for sure but when they're expected to dominate they actually fail to exert their dominance in games especially with goals they really have a problem yes possession they're fine but they seem to struggle and I see them struggling a bit in this group too actually. Group F, another pretty predictable group. I don't think much will happen in this group though I don't see Morocco winning all their games. I can imagine a team like Dr Congo really dropping deep just absolutely blocking everything Morocco's given so I could see Morocco drawing a game actually but overall I see Morocco top in the group in first Dr. Congo in second, Zambia in third, and Tanzania in fourth. The reason I put Dr. Congo over Zambia is because I think they've got a better defense. Both of their attacks and mids is roughly the same ability, but it will be down to the defense between those two nations. First round of 16 match, Algeria versus Zambia. I think this is going to be quite a walkover for Algeria. Zambia could cause a bit of issues, but I see Algeria winning within the 90 minutes. And then you have Nigeria Cameroon a great African clash here I think it'll be a really interesting games there'll definitely be goals 
but I do see Nigeria winning. Their attack is just far superior right now. I think it could be a 90 minutes. It could be an added extra time. Also leaves with Egypt versus Dr. Congo. This one, I think it'll be closer than people realize. Egypt will be made to work hard for it, but I do think Egypt will win. Maybe 2-1, something close like that, both conceding. And then you have Cote d'Ivoire versus Tunisia. This is going to be a tight game. It's going to be, I think, more tactical than anything else and so not really a goal scoring type of game but I do see Cote d'Ivoire winning against Tunisia could be an added extra time could even come down to penalties the round of 16 matches you got Senegal versus Cabo Verde wait hang on this was in the last AFCON too what are the chances again I see Senegal exerting their dominance not a huge scoreline but just controlling the whole game and then you have Ghana versus Gambia again Ghana just dominating exerting their dominance that game final two games of the round of 16 would be Morocco South Africa which these two teams have met pretty recently actually and hey it looks even right now but in this knockout game I do see Morocco winning I think it'll be a close game though Morocco will have to work hard for it, but I see it being in 90 minutes. And then finally, you have Mali, Burkina Faso. This could go either way, to be honest. Very even teams on paper in that. But I just feel like Burkina Faso would win. And I feel like they're just a more cohesive team than Mali. It could go to added extra time, could go to penalties. And then there was, a, here's the quarterfinals. And as they say, some mouthwatering fixtures coming up. This quarterfinal, Algeria versus Nigeria. This is a massive game. I think it will be close actually. Could even go to added extra time, even penalties. But I do see Nigeria winning. I feel like Algeria wouldn't have been tested well enough in this AFCONs and this would be their first genuine hurdle they have to get over and I think they will fall short. And this is where deeper in the tournament squad rope is key and this is where Nigeria's abundance attack would come to use and Nigeria's been more tested throughout the tournament. Egypt Cote d'Ivoire this would be a very close game again added extra time even penalties but I think the difference in this game will be that match winner someone like Salah really just making that impact making it really different so even Egypt's goalkeeper El Shanawi in the penalty shootout or something like that Senegal Burkina Faso this is probably the game that's going to finish in 90 minutes I don't see it beyond Senegal I do see them winning they're not going to dominate though I think Burkina Faso will really give them a good game but this Burkina Faso side is relatively young, quite inexperienced. I just don't see them peaking in this AFCON, whereas Senegal has that depth of experience in this current squad. Last quarter final, Morocco, Ghana. This game is going to be lit. I think it'll be quite feisty as well. It'll be a tight game. I think it'll come to tactics at this point. And I feel like Ghana are like, oh yeah, Morocco's going to dominate so let's try and counter attack but then Morocco doesn't like to dominate possession either so it'll be very interesting to see what both managers actually does in this match I think it will finish in 90 minutes but I think this match will come down to luck I think one of the teams will make an error and then the other team capitalizing on that and yeah it's a really tough call but I do see Morocco they're just more sound defensively compared to Ghana and maybe Ghana making that error and Morocco capitalizing either way yellow cards potentially red cards it's going to be a rememberable AFCON court final that leaves with the semi-final of Nigeria versus Morocco again this deep into the tournament it's going to come down to tactics this is going to be a fantastic game though either way but this is where I see Nigeria's midfield being the difference in the issue Yes, Nigeria's attack will cause Morocco's defence issues and will be stretching them a lot, but 
I don't see Nigeria interrupting Morocco's midfield or hacking it really and that's where I see the difference really being. I see Morocco dominating the middle of the pitch and therefore being able to to just have better flow of creating chances in that. Then that leaves the other semi-final of Egypt versus Senegal. Man, Egypt has been cursed by Senegal. In the last AFCON, in the final, Senegal beat Egypt on penalties right in the final. And then to make things worse, a few months later, in the World Cup qualifiers, Senegal beat Egypt on penalties again. Gosh, this is just too much for them. But funnily enough, I feel like Egypt's squad is in better shape now than it was in the last AFCON. You've got Mustafa Mohamed doing well for Nantes right now. And even Marmouche looks okay and quite well for Frankfurt. So Egypt's attack is clearly better, not just relying on Salah. But oh, this is so difficult to predict. Senegal just has more depth in all areas of the pitch. And that's where, you know, the final stages, the depth really matters. And again, this part of the tournament, it's all about tactics, depending on what Egypt's relatively new manager will do. This is such a Ah, this is so difficult to call, but I'm sorry. I'm going to do Egypt dirty and I'm going to go with Senegal again to beat them and for Senegal to be forever Egypt's curse bogey team. Senegal just have that more experience in these awkward matches and have more success. Either way, it really, it really could go either way. And that leaves with the third place match of Nigeria versus Egypt. This is a game that no one really wants to play, but I guess it's that bronze medal up for grabs. And again, Nigeria's mid probably being gassed out anyway from all the other matches and the tight fixtures they've had. But... Yeah, I don't really see Nigeria really putting that much effort. And I feel like Egypt has such a point to prove. So I think Egypt will go really hard in this game. And they will win it and claim the bronze third place. That leaves us with the massive final of Morocco versus Senegal. What the FIFA rankings claim as the two best African nations right now. Like with any final, it's going to be tactical, it's going to be cagey, no one's going to be wanting to make mistakes. And I think luck will play a big role. And we saw in the last World Cup in Qatar that even though France were winners of the last World Cup, they didn't seem to have as much luck on their side and it, it's not always down to experience, even in the final, surprisingly. And this is where that tactical astuteness will really come in. And the difference is, for me, in the two teams, the defence. Morocco's just well-disciplined defence, as we've seen before, compared to Senegal. That's really going to be the difference. Of course, it can go down to added extra time or even penalties. But with both African nations tying on one title each, I see Morocco winning the 2023 African Cup of Nations and claiming their second title. There you have my predictions for the 2023 African Cup of Nations. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Who do you think will be the surprise nation that goes really far in the tournament? As I don't really think I've mentioned too many surprises. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video.